Little B fighting with them foes all the time But I gotta do it, they always stay out of line Sometimes I wanna just chill and laugh But I'm the protector of the emeralds and gems Stay knuckled up in a deep cut I'm seeing skulls that burn, they trying to throw me off Avoiding my luck, I'm feeling kinda stuck Don't go me knuckles, give me a box Hey, what is up everyone? This is Radioactive Ra, and welcome back to Sonic Adventure HD for the PS3, Xbox, Dreamcast, and PC. And um, last time we left off, we were at um, Robotnik's Egg Carrier. We we defeated Chaos 6, he had 6 Chaos Emeralds, and um, we took him out, and then we tried to get Eggman, and we missed, and fell down into this jungle of ruins. And um... Yeah, we're in the jungle. This is uh, like one of my least favorite places because you can get lost in it. Uh, I don't even know how I'm running on top of these trees right now, but I am. It's something that I barely have ever pulled off in this game. But um, I think Eggman got away for right now. No one knows where he's at. And then we we landed right here somewhere. And um, this light wanted us to go into these ruins, into the snake's mouth, as you can see. So let's go inside. Let's go see what's going on. Lost World, Stage 9. Alright, um, get to the center of the ruins. Now, I don't hate this stage, but it is long as heck. I'm not gonna say what I wanna say, but, you know, it is a long stage. And we are gonna go through it. Because, um, this should be the finale video. This is the last part. Hey, come on. I hate this. I hate this part because of these fire bars. And you never know which ones are the ones that'll uh, heat up and hit you. But I, I never really hated this stage. At least after the first couple times trying to beat it. But I don't think I ever... Oh, wow. I thought he was going to bounce off of it. But I guess he didn't. Whatever. But you know, um, after the first couple times of me trying to beat it, you know, I had a couple struggles with it back then. Press the three yeah, we need to hit these three the switches. So let us do that. And it's not this switch. That switch only this makes switch a water go up. So level. careful of that if you uh, are doing the staging. It's your first time. Might not. You can hit that switch, but that's not the switch you need to to uh, progress. As far as you need to get and we're on this little snake here um, not a big fan of this whole area but this is one of the switches right here you see it uh, lit up but now we have to wait for the snake to come back around which is so annoying I swear so now he's gonna do his little loop-de-loop -loop, and we're just gonna hang around here and here he comes sweet so this isn't a hard stage I mean I've had harder uh, Final Egg is probably one of the hardest stages for me. I mean, that, that second part of that stage is just ridiculous. It really is. I mean, it's not that hard, but it's a lot of platforming, and 3D platforming usually doesn't bode well. Especially in these older, kind of glitchier games. You know, it wasn't perfected. You know, there were still some problems that need to be worked out. So, um, we're gonna go, like, all the way around here, because we only have two. So we need to keep on moving. We gotta keep moving. Let's see, where's this? There it is. Boom. And now it's open. I could have hit that water switch right there, but I didn't. Don't ask me why, I'm too lazy to get it. But usually, I'd get on that water switch, and then I'll use Tails to get that switch. And then it saves you time. But I don't have Tails with me at the moment, because he is off somewhere. He's still trying to get Amy onto the onto the little ship yes I made it off no come on are you kidding me wow okay yeah we're back up here again 
that was not as ideal as I wanted it. Let's get on there. Oh, light. Make that water go up. Hurry up and get on, Sonic. I'm not waiting another trip for that thing, I swear. There it is. No, no, what the heck is this? No, no, what are you doing, game? Alright, here we go. We are, hit the check -a point dude. Now this part it gets kind of harder. And look at this background. When I was younger, I used to try to make Tails fly as far as possible out to there and see what would happen. But it's just a background. I don't know, I just had weird... I used to do weird things when I played this game. Now this thing right here will tell you use the mirror, use the mirror to help, to help guide, guide you. And that is what we shall do. Uh, when I first played this, I completely ignored that thing. And I completely ignored that. And I just tried to go through this whole part blindly without any kind of light and um my friends at school i remember when this game first came out we we talked about this game like literally every day before we went for we went to school like start classes and stuff and they were like oh man what are you doing you need to uh hit these mirrors there's these mirrors in here and they have the light that you need to see and i kind of messed around a little bit i still was not understanding what the heck they were talking about and then I realized, hey, let me see these little things that are giving off light. And you have this back way. I'm not a big fan of taking that way. So I'm, I'm going to take the way that I'm most comfortable with. Let's see if we can do this right. Yes, we can. I mean, I've taken that route like two or three times. And probably out of those two or three times, I probably died at least twice trying to get across it. But I have successfully done it. Cause you have these little spinning blocks and it's pitch dark in there yeah i'm not doing it so all you need to do is get these lights going and um it's not that hard you know you just have to pay attention and right here you might want to charge up your energy before you get to the um to this part because you have these little arrows that are uh doing their thing and you just need to charge it up light spin speed and then you're good so uh we have this water right here. Oh my god. Let's go down. Here we go. We are going down. Woo! Oh my god. I love this part. Every single time I do this. Like, the music always fits in when you fall down there. It's cool. So let's keep moving. Okay, why did the camera change, you X? And you have this rock. It's coming after us. And this rock picks up speed magically. This thing will pick up some speed. Like, out of nowhere. Watch. Let's see if it'll do it. No, it, ain't, it ain't picking up. Okay. Okay, wow. Yeah, it didn't give me much problems this time, but... Uh, in the past, he would just magically pick up some speed on us. You have this little thing. There's nothing in here. I, ne I never really understood what the heck this thing is for. But, let's keep moving. Yeah, open that up. Alright, in here, this is when it gets confusing. Um, let's see, where should I start on this stage? Yeah, let's talk to this thing. He'll tell us. She'll tell us. Yeah, yeah. So you do need a light up the walls. I already knew that. I was just messing around. But you need a light up these walls. OMG, Illuminati. So, um... No, come on. Are you kidding me? No! Wow. Okay. So that's how we rolling us, son. It's all good. It's all good. Alright, um, so from here. Yeah. Get out of here. I swear those things are so annoying. Those little chameleons. Those things are so annoying. I ain't, now I'm gonna have to go all the way around again. Sweet. That's what I wanted to do. This stupid chameleon. Just keeps showing up. So let's go back up here. You gotta watch out for these uh, arrows, flaming arrows everywhere. Ooh. Let's keep moving. Just kind of angle that a little bit. No, hey, Sonic. Sonic Priest. And I just realized I, I went all the way around for nothing. Now you need to pay attention right here. You might get hit if you're not paying attention. Um, what you can do is just kind of sneak your way right here. 
because these things will hit you. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to take that route. It's already set up for me. Yeah, this gets really confusing, like if it's your first time. You just need to really pay attention. Um, figure out like where you need to go, and then go that way. I mean, there's a lot of different routes that'll take you there. That's the thing. So let's not get hit. Let's not take you. And then, once you know you're making progress, you have a check -a point dude right here. Let me get that before I die. I, don't, I do not need to be sent back way back there again. Please. Give me this. Oh. Let's hurry up and speed through here before that lights up and, and uh, burns us. Now right here, um, just need to keep moving. Gotta, you gotta do this go up and down crap. Come on. No! What? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna... Oh my god. Alright, we're right back right here. Um, for some reason, Sonic decided not to latch back onto it. You know, like gravity's supposed to do. So he kind of lost his... Uh, you know, he's supposed to automatically fall back on it. But he didn't. So, you know, we have to get back all the way down there. So, we gotta keep moving. We got another one of these flame rooms. Just dodge those things they, they, they don't stretch out all the way as you can see so you're good and then you're in this little room here and then there you go you just need to light that up go and there you go skadoosh and you have this little room here yes they did, you don't really get to see what it is but I think they will show you on the uh, thing so you're good right there yeah not bad What's this? Picture of chaos. Oh, no. The God of Destruction. Yeah, we got these little flashbacks going on. What's this place? Where am I? This is really weird. All I know is that if I would, if I ever got transported to a place like this, I would, I would know what the heck I'd do. I'd be going crazy. I would not. Whoa, what's the name? Just knocked out. Look at these chops. They're just like hit. They they just like beat up with their eyes open. They're like, man, I got beat up by something. Poor little dudes. doing to cow to cow stop okay that's how that ends I thought it was different maybe I'm mixing up with another person's story so she makes us go into the ruins for that what was that all about I don't think I'm dreaming here hmm Robotnik Eggman! What's he doing here? Well, never mind. This time I'll get him good! Let's go get him. Ooh, I'm so hyped up. I'm gonna get Eggman. He is done. Alright, so here we go. This is my favorite little area right here. Look at look at how beautiful that is. Look at Eggman's little uh, thing going on. When I was young, I thought that was the coolest looking thing ever. Even though it's probably not. But I just thought it was so cool. I was like, wow, look at all the lights and everything. And you can't die, so you need to be careful. So let's go into this little place. Apparently it lets anyone in. 
And here we go. We come into this little hub room. And we have um, Silver Sonic, I think was his name. Silver Sonic 2 from the comic books. Uh, if you're big into the comic books, you know this guy. Um, yeah. I thought he was pretty cool. He's like, I want to say in the first 20 chapters of it, of the entire series. But I might be wrong, somewhere around there. And then you have Metal Sonic in a little glass case. So, um, we just need to bring ourselves over here. I never can remember the uh, password for these. I really can't, so I'm gonna just have to mess around with it until I can figure it out. Which sounds fun, right? Okay, let's see. Come on, I thought that was it. Oh, there we go. No, open up. Don't play with me like that, son. All right, it opened up. We figured out the password. We are good to go. Final egg, uh, stage 10. Okay, final egg. AKA, um, like in the old games, there was always the final egg. I love the final egg stages. Just because of, um, like the themes and everything. You know, they feel so like Eggman. You know, just Eggman's uh, empire or something. I don't know how I would explain it. But it kind of gives off like that vibe from Met Metallic Madness from Sonic CD. At least for me. You know, just everything's roboticized and all this, you know. It doesn't mean it has total control, but it just gives you a glimpse of what it might be if he ever got total control of the world. Hey, let no, go. you're not getting hit on me, son. You need to watch out for those dudes. If they throw their hat at you, they are going to uh, like take control of your body, and then you can't move. So you just need to watch out for those. I think you can home an attack on their hats. So if they throw them, then you can just hit them. And then if they do that, then I don't think they move. They won't. They will not attack you. Like if they lose their hats. But if if they actually catch you in their hat, then they'll um cut, they'll fly after you and hit you. Oh come on, that again? Get out of here! I hate those little things. Home and attack. All right. This part isn't so bad. We just need to not fall off. I've never really had problems ever falling off of this thing. The only time I ever fell off is when I intentionally want to see like what was down there. You can see like some, like there's some kind of platforms and stuff down there if you want to look around in there. But I don't, I don't think there's nothing really there except for when you're on mission mode. You need to find a flag or something. I don't remember. It's been a while. So let's just keep moving. And here comes my least favorite part. No, this isn't it. Not yet at least. But we're in that area. But I love this music. Okay. And basically all you're doing is uh, moving slow, slowly further and further down the, uh, the whole area. Like, the whole tower. Like, you can see the whole tower from... Like, this is the part right here. I used to have so many problems with this. But I should not have that many problems this time, considering how much I've gotten better at this game since I was a child. And, um... I'm not that bad with platforming like I used to be. Thank you, let me get on there. Now if you wanna be a brave soldier, you can, um, like there's little platforms off in the distance that have like extra lives and rings and stuff if you need them. Chances are you might. Okay, don't stop that. Okay, here we go with this part. This part used to piss me off as a kid because you thought you were done and then bam. It pushes you up. And you can't jump down. Like, if you jump down, you're dead. Even though you land on something. I never I never really liked that. It was like, okay. Really now. But I love, like, the guitar for this part. It's crazy how good it sounds. Okay, that was totally off sync. I'm gonna let it go down. Let it go up again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. 
Yeah, this game is so like 90-ish. Can I jump to the Yes, I can. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I just looked at far away. Let's go down here. We're going down. So the, the whole, this whole area, you're just trying to go further down, which I, I don't understand. Usually, like, in most Sonic games, the final thing, you're going upwards. Let me see what's back here. I don't think I've ever went this way before. Yeah, there's some rings back here. Let me get those rings. But usually in Sonic games, you're trying to go upwards, like, every one of them. Except for, like, yeah, even in Sonic 1, like, um... Scrap Brain Zone 3, there's a, um, what's it called, you're, you're back in the Labyrinth Zone, you're in like this little Labyrinth area again, and you're trying to push your way back up because you got put in that trap, you know, stuff like that. So let's land safely each time, come on, here we go, Ooh. and then we could jump to there. Then you have just random rings everywhere. Not to worry about them. No, what the heck was that? Okay. <laughs> I don't. I've never had that problem before. Usually, you can just walk into it. That was such a d-bag move right there. I swear. I swear that was so cheap. That was a cheap death. I don't even think I've died yet in this in this game. Like besides that, that's been my first death. That's stupid. So you just need to get in the spider. Usually you can walk into it, but I don't know what the heck was going on. And you have this chick screaming, emergency, emergency. And I'm just like, shut up, every time. So I'm gonna jump again just to make sure I don't fall. You know, now I'm kind of nervous about that that part. It just traumatized me from now on. I got extra life. Too. Just got some rings everywhere. You know, the usual. And you're thinking, man, this is a long stage. Yes, it is a long stage. Let me get that extra life. Too. But it's the final egg. You expect these kind of things to be long. Holy crap, I forgot all about these little dudes. Um, they don't, I don't think they really hurt you. Unless they get really close to you, then they start uh, self-destructing like they're doing. And you just need to just get away from them because they're slow. Let's get up here. Holy crap, that was, they got, they exploded pretty fast that time. Let's see. Are there any shields around here? I would love a shield. I, I'm just one of those people who like to play... Sonic games and have my shields at all times, whether it's a regular one, metal, it's a metallic one, or any kind, you know. And this part right here, holy crap, I hate this part, because you never know if you're going to make it across. The fans don't always do their job. Here we go, here we go, holy crap, okay, 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 <sighs> you made it. Alright, we're doing this again? We're doing this again! Holy crap! Hmm. That wasn't too bad. And I got a shield. I'm happy. I can't see nothing. Okay. Okay. That would have been cheap again if I died. Alright, this little room right here. Um, here we go. Just everyone get, get away from me. Little pink things. Some people actually think these things are like cute or something. I'm like, no. What is wrong with you people? Here we go. You can, then you come into this little room and that you're just falling. You're like, what the heck is going on here? And you don't even have a chance to like defend yourself. I missed it. Dang it. How did I miss that? Here we go. Bad. Thank you. That just, um, that's like a shortcut. And there's actually a spring to take you back up, luckily. Okay. Now there should be a switch or something. Yeah, it just opens by itself. Never mind. Uh, let's see. Which way do I go? Somewhere around here. Got let's just keep it. I know it's one of these rooms. And then you come into this place. I don't like this area. 
because you're you're like stuck on this one track path we have these little robots trying to hit you and you have like nowhere you can run to or defend yourself at least so you're just pretty much using skill and you have these sonic dolls I'm not gonna touch because the tells the tells doll curse is real don't mess with creepy pasta let's get all these dudes out of here is that it are you done are you done no okay all right let me charge up my uh, thing okay this ain't gonna be good there we go I bought I kind of get scared when that happens Yes. Okay, there, that's it. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, not bad. So we made it to the center of the base. We had, we did it. We have that epic, we have that epic guitar music again. I love that music. Well, if it isn't my pal Sonic, I'm surprised you made it this far. You know, Eggman is like really happy. He always calls Sonic his pal when he has like this big robot or something in every game. Sonic, my friend. I have my robot. And then he still gets destroyed. He just gets caught. Go take this rocket, Skadoosh! Oh! Where you at, Eggman? Alright. Egg Viper. Okay, this one. I kind of have problems with, but I should be good. I should be good. Let's see. Get a load of Guess this. I'll load up this. I've, I've never had that. This. Okay, I thought you only did it once. I forgot. <laughs> see if you see can. If okay, let's see what we can do with this dude. Get a load of this. I, I don't like fighting this dude because it just this. takes a long time. No, okay. I forgot he does that too. Okay. Yeah, when he does that, that second time, you can't jump and hit him. He's gonna back up and you're gonna die. So you just need to do that. And then BOOM! You just gotta be quick, because you see he's charging up his uh, energy shield. You just gotta keep moving. We're good. We're good. <laughs> See if you can make it through here, Sonic. Oh, not bad. We're Get doing great right this. now. Get a load at this. Get a load at this. Not again. Okay. Okay. Right here, I have this problem. I always get hit like it's gonna happen. No, 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 come on. No. Dang it. What happened to my second jump? I'm supposed when you get hit, you're supposed to have that extra jump that never showed up. Alright, alright, we're back right here again. He's gonna hit us. He's gonna hit us. It doesn't matter, because we're still gonna have to take the hit regardless, so it does don't even try and I have never successfully dodged that uh, attack there, so I don't, I don't even know why I panicked and tried to do that. I guess I was trying to avoid the hit, like really badly. Or whatever. Okay, he's coming. He's coming with his uh things this time. I can't believe this. Boosh. He, he he gets like really happy when he when you throw that at him. So now we're doing the final battle right here. He's gonna break off a couple pieces on the sides. You just need to hang around. Okay, he's, he's coming with that again. It's no use. Give up. Oosh. Okay. Get on this side right here. He's gonna break that side off now. 
and I'm like really getting nervous. Holy crap, which one's coming? Oosh! It's no use. Give up. No, what? No, 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 this is bull. Oh, come on, he's doing that again. It's no use. Give up. There we go. Now we need to pay attention because he's going to do like this little kamikaze thing right here. And this move always, this move always kind of creeps me out because I don't know if he's going to hit me or not. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Yes. We did it. I, I get so nervous with that. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. There we go. That is Sonic's story. Yeah. And Eggman's just like, screw you, Sonic. I'm out of here. Like, they've gone through this uh, thing so many times of just battling each other. They're just like, you know, they just ended right there. That's how we're going to end it. Here we go with Sonic Steam. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I mean, I like, personally, I like his uh, Adventure 2 theme better. But this one isn't that bad. Personally, I pr prefer the artist on uh, Sonic 2, which is like uh, Tony, I forget his last name. But he did the City Escape theme on there. Same guy. But yeah, that is Sonic's story, and I'm just going to do like a quick uh, little review of it. And um, it's obviously the longest out of everyone's story. I mean, it, it gets no longer than that. Um, next time we will be doing Tales of Story, which isn't that much different from Sonic's, but he has his own moments in it that'll make it a little different. And uh, I hope y'all stick around to enjoy that. And um, yeah, this was one of this is one of my favorite stories this sonic story it's one of the best it's solid i mean there's nothing that can top it to me at least and um you know i'm just a big sonic fan and i just enjoy his story the most every single time that i play it. and um yeah i don't know what else exactly i want to say but um yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this look sonic he's doing the shower thing when I was a kid, we used to all play this game, and my little cousins, they would bring him in the shower and just watch him do that. And he does, like, all these weird, like, um, he does, like, the sexy moves and all that. I don't know how you would explain it, but he, like, starts dancing in the, in the uh, shower thing. And I always found that weird. I don't know. But, I hope y'all enjoyed Sonic Story, and hopefully Tells the Story will be just as good, but I'm not a big fan of Tells. So there we go, Sonic's story is, um, well the ending theme for this stage is like long as heck, that's why I'm trying to talk and all that crap, so, so I don't get like a uh, third party thing, you know how that goes, just trying to keep some commentary going, yeah but like I said we'll be doing Tails story next, and you're gonna see what makes his story different from Sonic's, it's just slight things, and all that good stuff. Sonic and Amy. We got uh, the robot. I don't know why she was. She decided that she was just gonna roll, run off when there was a robot clearly after. I don't know what she was thinking. But oh, there's a robot trying to trying to capture me. I might as well split up from the person who's gonna save my life every single time. You know, that's all. That's what she was thinking. Ryan Drummond, obviously the best Sonic voice actor of all time, and then um, 
Roger Craig Smith in second. I like Roger Craig Smith. He's pretty good. Obviously, he'll never catch it. He'll never capture Ryan Drummond's uh, perfect fit for Sonic, as we all in the Sonic community like to think and like to say. I mean, he's perfect. They almost bought him back after uh, what's his name, Jason Griffin, got got the boot, and it would have been nice to see him back. He's like obviously my favorite out of the voice actors, but Roger Craig Smith isn't a bad, isn't that bad to me at least. I mean, if we can't get if we can't get Ryan Drummond to come back, then Roger Craig Smith is a is a good uh, stand-in, at least to me. Created by Sonic Team. Presented by Sega. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Next time, we will be doing Tells This Story. And um, that will be coming up really soon. Copyright Sonic Team 2003. Now, the weird thing about that about this is that um, it, was, it actually came out in 1999 in America. But... The GameCube version came out in 2003. You know how that went. So I don't know, like, they must have mixed up their uh, timelines or something. But yeah, until then, peace out. Y'all have a good night. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, until then, peace out. Y'all have a good night.